this was across all colleges, so you guys will be surveyed to death. Um, you know, this is across all colleges, all disciplines, and 60% of the graduating seniors two years ago said they were highly dissatisfied and unhappy with um, the availability of research opportunities at Cornell. I thought that was huge. Si huge. Because in, in my world, um, yes, there are people who don't ever get involved in research, but there are lots of opportunities. And, uh, you know, I th nobody here, you notice, is a humanist. Um, I think there, it's a whole different world where you have to take courses and you read and then you have to, the faculty there don't have the kinds of infrastructure that science faculty have. There's not graduate students, there's not technicians, there's not postdocs um, as much. It's a real one-on-one -on -one kind of thing. But um, I was shocked that it was that high, and I think it's really too bad. Um, so here's the challenge, though. It's a, um, it's a, a numbers, and so I know biology the best. Um, if we include our friends over in human ecology, there's about 16 to 1700 students who want who are studying some kind of life science if we had natural resources and some of the other majors it gets up to be about 2000 there's about 400 faculty who do something in life sciences so you can do the math and the next piece to tell you is that most faculty <coughs> one two and at most maybe three <coughs> students there are some people around here who work with a lot of students, um, and there are some faculty who work with no undergraduates. So it's it's ma it's a matter of math. Um, but I I believe, and I may be crazy, but I believe that everybody who really wants to get involved in research can do it. You're going to have to hustle though, and um, you're going to have to come to things like this. Um, you're going to have to go to any opportunity you have to talk to faculty. Um, to you, I'll say Carl Frank. I don't know if you've met <coughs> Carl Frank yet. Um, he's the physics end. Um, he's more of a, he does a lot of biophysics, but he's a wonderful human being. And um, there's another guy whose name I will try to remember. But <coughs> you need to go talk to them and say hi. I'm really interested. Tell me, tell me how what it, how it goes here, because actually places like physics and chemistry, they're very small majors, and almost all their students do research in one form or another. So it's pretty easy. In biology, um, you really have to get out there and and talk to people. And I think the hard part of biology is that it's a huge subject, and when you're younger, you don't. Generally, a lot of people don't have focused interests. They say, oh, I'm, I'm interested in disease, or I'm interested in um, the environment. And so for the faculty, you're going you're gonna to have to get that narrower. And that's, again, where going places where faculty are talking to them um, and, and sort of developing what your interests are is a really is, is a good deal. Um, I think another, I mean, I, your question's a great question, and I think um, for a lot of students, your, the courses here are really tough. You don't have a lot of free time, right? And when you have free time, you might want to be doing something other than something more academic. Um, but we, we need to engage students better. I mean, I think we need more what engineering does, which is a lot of group projects. It sounds like Sarah has, has like this little group going. Um, and I think we need more things like that where students can work on a project together at the beginning and then spin off their own kinds of, of interests at the end. And this, this project that Gary's had for 20, 15 years, yeah. Um, why don't you, do, do you guys know about this project? No. Tell them a little bit about it because it's fascinating. And, yeah, so and, Gary Evans is a professor in um, human ecology. DEA, which is a de design and environmental analysis and human development. And um, he's doing a longitudinal study on children developing in poverty. Um, so, like I said, this was two years ago. So they started around age eight. They're now um, in their 20s, 24, 25, give or take a couple of years. And um, so basically, we're looking at uh, neurological effects, physiological effects of living in poverty. Um, 
And so, as lab manager, I'm basically in charge of finding participants, because they they moved all over the place, to find them, bring them in, schedule events, and then also um, train new research assistants. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool project. Um, and it, I think, I mean, like, I think the social sciences are a little bit different in terms of how many research assistants that professors have, because this group is actually pretty large. It's, yeah. um, um, I think they have seven research assistants, and then three more who are coming in next semester. Right. So. Right. Yes.